What is up friends? We have just released our new secondary navigation plugin with a bunch of updates and feature improvements, new layout options. I wanna walk you through everything that is available in this plugin. And then I'll show you quickly how sort of the installation process works so you can decide whether this is something you want to get into and use. So first, this is an example of what our secondary navigation looks like. So we can add a title up here, right here, secondary nav. You can add normal links in there. You can add a drop down like this. You can add social icons. There's, it's very robust and composable. So you can sort of pick and choose the different components that you want. And we've kind of matched with the, the Squarespace header layout options to give you a bunch of different options that you can use for layout. So if you're familiar with the Squarespace header and how to move and change stuff around in there, then it's just as easy in here. You just give it, define it some different layout positions. So we'll show you a little bit more about that later. So another layout option is branding center. So this is gonna be our logos right there in the center. Our links are over there on the left. Uh, you can do navigation in the center with our action items, like a call to action button or social links over here with our title over there. Um, but of course, this is all navigation right at the top. So. You can also do a navigation right down here below. You can just sort of pick and choose where you want it to be. And also, this is a fun one. You can do a navigation as a, sec as a section, a secondary navigation as a section. So when we scroll, there it is. It just sort of sticks there. So we just pick a section on our page. We drop in the code that we need, and it just sticks right there. Very simple. We have a couple layout options for mobile. It can either go in the mobile menu above your normal items or below your normal items, or you can keep it static on mobile. So even if you go to mobile, that secondary navigation will still stay there. It'll be there. So a bunch of different options, really fun. So let's look at a few examples. So we've seen a lot of people use this for like some type of contact information or social links. So this is a great use case for it. It's just right at the top of your website. It just sticks up there. So this is a nice one. Very simple, very clean. Uh, for categories, so if you have a shop, it's a great way to display all the different categories in your shop site-wide. Um, and this can be done, I should say, this can be done site-wide or you can do this on a specific page. So either one works for you. So you can do sort of uh, anchor links to different options on a page right there if that's what you would like to do. Another really fun one is like for a single, a single sales page, so for an online course or some product you might have. Uh, this kind of looks good. You can add a secondary call to action like this. You can also make this, if we're below our header right there, you can make it sticky. So it's just gonna stick as we scroll. So that's really, that's, that's really fun. Um, and then of course you can add two, and I shouldn't say of course, cause maybe this isn't natural or intuitive to most of us, but you can add two secondary navigation. So we still have our main one. You can add your contact one above, maybe site wide, and then maybe on a specific page, you can have a secondary navigation below. So giving you, we're giving you a bunch of options here. And then of course, just the sticky section. This is what I showed you earlier. This is really fun. So. Okay, let's look at the installation of this. How does this work? You'd purchase the plugin, you'd get access to our installation page right here. And there's a lot of content on this. No, I shouldn't say a lot of content. There's straightforward content on this installation page, but we have, we're, we're giving you all the different options so you can sort of compose the, the secondary navigation that's gonna work for you or your client. So you'll put in the installation scripts and once you do that, you just copy and paste the different components that you want within your secondary navigation element. So you just create one of these and then you can copy and paste like we want to add some drop down. So we're going to copy that and then drop it down into our code block or, or our page header code injection area or site header code injection area. I can show you what what one of those might look like. So maybe in our product navigation right here, you just copy and paste the different components that you want. So these are all over in here. You just open the drop down, copy the element, and then paste it in. And then of course you'd change like your text, that would be your teacher. Maybe you don't want to say your teacher, something else. You change the URLs right there, it's very easy. Um, also the coloring, the styling of this is very simple as well. So we follow, we mimic the, the Squarespace color themes option. So you see we have an option right here, data section theme, and we're just gonna call this, uh, right now this is dark, our dark theme, right? With the orange background and the white text, that's what our dark theme is. But maybe we want this to say, uh, maybe we want this to be our light theme, right? So let's go with our light theme. 
and you see that is actually matching what we have here. And then if we look at our color themes of any page section, you'll see that's our light theme, this sort of uh, beige with the black text, and this is our dark theme, the orange with the white text. So if we wanted to do a black background, we could maybe go with our bright two color theme. So let's go with that just so we can, we can easily see. So we'll say uh, light, we'll call this bright two right there. And now we have that black with the white with the with the orange with the orange text so that's really kind of nice so lots of different options and you can see there's the different layout options changing the layout is very easy you just change these options in there we give that we just straight up give you so really excited to get this one into your hands let us know if you have any questions or there's something else you'd like to see added to this uh, we're constantly updating these plugins and things like every quarter um, so let us know if, if you have any thoughts and share any results if you get this plugin and use it on any of your websites i'd love to see how it works have a good one